Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to get an equation for a quadratic. Alright, so let's say I've got um, a few points to work with here. So I've got negative 2, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 4. Okay, so first order of business. Now with a quadratic you're going to have, you're going to need minimum of three points. Alright, so in this, in this example I'm looking at three points. I've, um, I've already got it here written on the left hand side for you. So to do this, nothing different from what you did in terms of finding a linear equation. So click on menu and go into stat. All right, you're back at list one and list two. So make sure you put your x values in list one and your y values in list two. All right, so we've got negative two, one, zero. And of course my y values are zero, 0 and 4. Okay, so I've entered my um, set of three points. So at this point, I need to press graph, which happens to be F1. Once again, press graph 1 or GPH1, I think it is. Uh, let's see. So GPH1, graph 1, and you kind of come back to this menu again, press calc. So at this point, remember that x was, um, x was what we needed to do for linear. This case, we're actually working with a quadratic. So we need to go to x squared, which happens to be f4. Okay? So when you click that, uh, you get your values for a, b, and c. So at the moment, you've got a value of a is negative 2, b equals negative 2, c equals to 4. Now, if just in case you've forgotten uh, the general form for a quadratic, it's actually given here. So can you see how it says y equals ax squared plus bx plus c? So you write that down, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And a few people, what they do is they kind of forget to put a, b, c into the equation. So in this, yeah, because you know in the exams, it just pressure comes in. Just got to make sure you replace a with negative 2. So x squared, b is negative 2, and c is plus 4. All right, and that's how you find an equation of a quadratic in a graphics calculator uh, given three points.